with architecture or present world wonders of shared beauty and prosperity. With architecture, we tell the story of trust and friendship among people. This is a dangerous drug abuse treatment and rehabilitation center in Sarangani province in the southern Philippines. It sits in a three-hectare lot on top of a mountain, and it faces the picturesque Sarangani Bay. Noni Tan was once a drug addict. He was one of the first patients in the facility. He was given a second lease in life when a court ordered him to undergo rehabilitation. He says the center helped him to overcome his drug dependency which spanned for decades. May isip namin nga, ah, di na dyan kumubalik. Sayang. Tapos, ma-realize namin lahat ng mga pamilya namin. Kung kinsay mag-suffer, pamilya, pamilya. Ang tulkaroon na rin, pamilya, kaya po. His wife and daughters say, he's a new man, now responsible, caring, and God-fearing. He now works in the rehabilitation center where he guides new patients. He's an inspiration to all of them. Dr. Imelda Quinones says they implement a science-based addiction treatment which has proven to deliver successful results and long-term sobriety. Aside from counseling and lectures, patients are encouraged to explore new hobbies like dancing and singing. Dr. Quinones says the infrastructure plays a big role in the recovery of the patients. From help, is very grateful that we are SOC surgeon, the ATRC are is one of the beneficiary. This is a state-of-the-art facility. And uh, we are really very happy. Yao Shanfa is a project director of the facility from CSCEC. They finished the project with the efforts of Chinese and Filipino workers in just less than a year. During construction, CSCEC follow local management mode. We hire more than 450 local skilled workers and staff and provided technical training. We purchased more than $10 million worth of local material, equipment, and furniture. It creates job opportunity and improves construction techniques. It has become a landmark project in Silo Philippine Corporation and the Belt and Road Initiative. He says the project adapted the contemporary and functional design. The center can cater to 150 patients. It includes an administration building, clinic, male and female dormitory, visitor's pavilion, staff house, multi-purpose covered court, and other buildings. Health experts say drug addiction recovery is a long, arduous process. True recovery is when a patient starts social reintegration. The building is not just built with physical walls, but rather as a structure of hope and new beginnings. Gretchen Malalad, CGTN, Sarangani Province.